Last time we were together, we were talking about polyester chop, what it is, where we use it, why we use it. Anyway, go back and check out that video because it's gonna help you understand even more about how we actually build out your fiberglass pool. We've covered a lot in this series so far. Today, we're gonna to be talking about honeycomb structural support and woven fiberglass roving. I'm Christian with River Pools. We are inside of our new plant and today, you're watching episode five in our new video series about how fiberglass pools are made. Okay, let's take a look at what we're gonna cover for today's video. Number one, we're gonna talk about what these materials are. Number two, where do they go in the pool? Number three, why exactly do we use them where we do? And number four, how can you spot them in the pool you're considering installing in your backyard? Let's get into it. So what is woven fiberglass roving? Well, here it is, my friends. We talked about it in the last video because we were explaining the difference between this and chopped fiberglass roving. I'm trying to explain why we prefer chopped fiberglass to build out majority of the bulk for your pool. But we did mention that woven fiberglass roving has a use case in your pool shell. We're gonna to get to that in just a minute. This is an example of honeycomb structural support. So it's a material, but it's shaped uh, with the honeycomb pattern on the inside, perforations on the back so that we can shape it and bend it to whatever we need it for. Let's get into where we use these on your pool next. So let's take a look at this lovely little D-Series model and explain where we use woven fiberglass roving and honeycomb structural support. We use woven fiberglass roving all around the bottom rim of your pool. We're basically looking to reinforce areas that could experience a lot of flexing and movement during the handling and installation of your pool. A prime example is where the floor transitions to the wall. This radius right here can experience a lot of movement when the pool is lifted and when it's placed in the hole your backyard so we want to reinforce that as for the honeycomb well you're going to see this on the outside of your pool as a series of ribs that run down the wall you're also going to see it as gussets placed under things like tanning ledges steps and we're going to lay it down flat on those surfaces as well to give them more structural support so that they feel solid underfoot the last place you're going to see honeycomb structural support is along the inside of the coping particularly when straight edge pools because we wanna make sure that that straight edge remains straight and the installers don't have a difficult time keeping that wall perfectly straight during the installation. Now, let's talk about why we use woven fiberglass roving. I mentioned that the walls can shift and it can create some stress on this bottom rim of your pool. All these areas that can move and flex, we wanna reinforce them with a material that's designed to do that because the name of the game is really to protect the gel coat from cracking. As for why we use the honeycomb structural support, well, on the outside of the pool, those ribs are gonna provide a, an appropriate amount of rigidity to keep the walls from bowing in during the installation. These ribs are gonna add an appropriate amount of rigidity to the side walls of the pool. This helps prevent bulging during the backfill and filling process during installation. Let me quickly demonstrate exactly how the honeycomb structural support actually works. See, if you apply fiberglass to a flat surface, well, you're going to have flat fiberglass. And it could be sort of flimsy as far as fiberglass goes. But if you were to change the shape of the fiberglass when it's applied using something like honeycomb structural support, you're adding rigidity and stiffness to something that would otherwise be easily moved by hand. We're applying the same principles to the side wall of your pool and other areas to withstand movement during shipping, handling, and installation of your fiberglass pool. All right, when you're shopping for something, especially a big purchase like an in-ground pool, it's really nice to know what you're looking at and being able to spot all the things that, well, you need to have in place. So when you go shopping for a pool and you're considering a manufacturer or a pool model, you need to look for elements like honeycomb structural support on the ribs or gussets over here on the safety ledges or down here on the coping. 
As for the woven fiberglass roving, this one might be a little tough to spot, but what you want to look for are distinct lines that are running in and around transition. So if you see a line like this, that is the edge of the woven fiberglass material, and now it has a nice layer of chopped fiberglass over top. Meaning that these steps, the transition from the wall to the surface of this stuff is very well reinforced. The gel coat is very well protected and it's not going to crack as this pool is moved around the handle and installed in your backyard. Woven fiberglass roving, honeycomb structural support. You now know what both of those materials are, where we use them, why we use them, and heck, you can even spot them yourself on the pool you're considering having installed in your backyard. I'm Christian with River Pools. In our next video, we're going to be talking about demolding this pool. We're going to show you how it's done, how we prep it, inspect it, and keep all the documentation necessary to ensure quality control. And from the looks of it, Mike is going to be helping us. Mike, my friend, we'll see you in the morning. I'm Christian with River Pools. Catch the wave. We talked about polyester chop, what it is, where we use it, why we use it. Womp womp. Oh, that's not good. Is woven fiberglass roving. It's for this in the fiberglass pool flex and move during handling and the installation of your pool. Use this to create more rigidity in places like the ledges, a much sturdier feel under your foot so that we can shape it and do whatever we need to with it. Anybody walk behind me during that? Maybe a few. <laughs> <laughs>